Welcome back. So now in this video, I'll show you how to just create a custom multiple markers. So we will be working on that. First of all, close that dot file from here, and we will go towards the lib, create a new directory by the name custom markers. and click upon that right click get a new dart file give the name in small alphabets custom instead of space underscore and then we say markers and in here we will have a start for legend so write st now we will simply just give the name custom markers and we will just close tell that and click upon that startful widget and add my material dot dot from now on we will just copy there from here first and go towards the man dot dot in here we will remove that from here and pass that custom markers click upon that import the library and above we will just remove that all fine go back to where is the custom markers dot dot in here for now on you guys can see there is just an empty container now you'll just hold to load the app and there will be just a totally empty screen as you guys can see right in here now we will simply just integrate the google map and you guys know about it how you guys can integrate the google map so for the time saving i'll go to where is the home screen from there we will just copy the code from integrating the google maps so the first thing that we will do i'll just copy that completer okay google map controller and with it also we will just copy the initial position that we will give to our camera position okay for now on just copy that from here to here copy it go towards the custom marker dot dot in here above the widget bill there you go the widget and bill in here you will just pass that click upon that you will just import the library okay I'll just find now go back to your home screen dot dot in here also you will copy that marker the array copy that from here go to the custom marker dot dot below in here above the widget bill past it now go back towards the my home screen dot dot we will just go down and in here I'll just copy that safe area okay so copy that from here to here go to the custom marker dot dot in here we will just remove that and we will have a scaffold widget in here and in there we will paste the remaining core there we go as you guys can see now just press the control s or just hold reload the app you guys will notice the google map there we go okay and that's our initial position target area okay here we are and I have already explained this in detail right in the previous videos at so many places so there is no need of doing it again we will just move forward now for custom marker we will just download some images right in the PNG format so open the browser and in here as you guys can see search for this flat icon there we go open that first one flat icon and here we are search for here cars and you guys will see a multiple cars right in here okay select any of the car and then search for bike cycles anything that you want and then we will show these right in our google map as custom markers and how you guys will download it 
simply just come here and select any of the icon in here okay tap on it it will just get you right here and then click on this png you guys can see that click upon it and you guys can see that free download click upon that it will just download it okay you guys can see it's successfully download so that's how you guys can download multiple icons from here from this specific flight icon website and then you can search for bike cycles as I told you already okay there you go so download it like that and I have already downloaded multiple icons I'll just show you and I just add in this specific folder by the name images there we go okay I have downloaded that and now I'll just add this folder right in the Android Studio right in our project so open the Android Studio here we are I'll just get this down and simply just drag and drop this specific folder right in this Google Map API okay and then you guys can see refractor it will add it so it successfully just add all of the images as you guys can see that specific folder right in here and all of the images right in here okay you guys can see that and we will close that now I'll just go towards the popspec.yml and we will just add the path for this specific icons images folder go towards the popspec.yml and scroll down from here we will just remove that like this and below this hash as you guys can see with the proper alignment we will write assets as you guys can see this occasion then get this down and remember with the asset second as that one with it we will just add the dash like that and then we say images because all of the icons that we just added right in this images folder so we'll say and provide the specific part images and then one by one we will add all of the images like that so images then slash and the first name was one dot png and you guys can see that right in here images one dot png in a proper format like that so it's seven images I'll just copy this and paste it like that remove that and let me just copy that enter paste it enter paste it four fifth six seven now what I'll do I'll just change this specific digit so it's gonna be second it's gonna be third and it's gonna be fourth fifth and then six and lastly is seven so we successfully add all of the images okay like that it's gonna just import and edit in our project and then we will use it for the custom markers and make sure edit in a proper alignment and format like that like I did now we will go and just click upon that pop get it will add it to our project get done now close that and get the dependencies first all just done now you can ignore it simply and we'll just close that also we will close that my home screen dot dart from here and we'll go towards custom marker dot dart file in here again now what I'll do I'll just create a list by the name images okay so in there there will be an array and we will just eat all of the image by the specific path that we added in popspec.yml okay so what I'll do 
above in here we'll say list it's gonna be string type and we'll give the name as file image images and in here array edit and semicolon and take this down from here now we will just edit one by one as I told you already like that copy that from here like that close it begin in here in here just with the string first edit and comma and in here pass the part like that we will just copy that from here copy it and in here pass it for the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh now just change the name like that sixth and seven we will just change the name and make it more simple so what I'll do I'll just remove that from here and make that simple images will be cut now right after that as I told you already we will just use those specific images icon as our custom markers in our map so now we will just choose the latitude and longitude for every specific icon image right in here so it's gonna be for example one here the car one the cycle will be here and so on like that in the map so we have to just provide the latitude and longitude for the specific images icon so for that specific purpose what I'll do I'll just add a or let's say create a list for that specific lat and longitude so in here we'll say final is gonna be non-changeable and then we say list as I told you okay it's gonna be for latitude and longitude and just gonna give let long for images and that is fine now what I'll do in here we'll just say let long okay and then in here bracket write it and semicolon and it's gonna be array because we're gonna have multiple latin long okay now in here we'll say let long we will provide that specific latitude and longitude in here comma so if you guys don't know how to just get the latitude and longitude for the specific place open the browser and search for google map i'll show you google map search for it here we are open it here we are in the google map now so you can just zoom out like that I'll go toward that specific area as you guys can see G10 or you can choose any area that you want okay I'll just take the first coordinate from here and you guys right click okay it will show you that specific lat and longitude click upon that it will just copy it to the clipboard and then go back towards android studio back again in here remove that latitude and longitude from here and pass the digit number for the lat and long and you guys can see that in here so what i'll do i'll just in here say lat longitude and write it in comma we will just copy that and pass it because we are having that seven images and if you guys want to not go for seven images then you can simply just choose one two three or four 
I'll go with the seven. So I'll show you how to add a multiple custom markers in the Google Map. So second, copy it. Gonna go for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. All just fine. Now I'll go towards Google Map and copy the coordinates, latitude and longitude. Now the other position will be in here. F11. Copy it back again in here, paste it in here like that. Now I'll just quickly add the remaining latitudes and longitudes in here. So you guys can see we are wrong all of the latitude and longitudes. And now we'll just add the cons modifier right to this. So then the line will be gone. You guys can see that. So we have successfully just add images right in here, the path, and also we just add the specific latitude and longitude for this specific images. So that's it for this video. Right from the next video, we will just implement the code and show the custom markers right on the Google Map on the specific position that we choose from the location right on the google map so see ya in the next one